Hey there! Welcome to Power Process Electrical Engineering Tech. Today I will explain PLC hardware. First, make sure you subscribe and like the video. A programmable logic controller. PLC is a specialized digital computer used in industrial automation and control systems to perform a wide range of tasks. It is designed to monitor inputs, make decisions based on a program, and control outputs to automate and optimize processes in various industries such as manufacturing, power generation, automotive, and more. PLC hardware consists of several key components that work together to achieve these functions. Here's an overview of the main components of PLC hardware. Central Processing Unit CPU. The CPU is the brain of the PLC. It processes the program stored in its memory, manages data, and controls the overall operation of the PLC. It executes instructions, manages communication with input and output devices, and makes decisions based on the programmed logic. Memory. PLCs have two main types of memory. Program memory and data memory. Program memory stores the user-written logic that dictates how the PLC operates. Data memory holds variables, values, and temporary storage used during program execution. Input modules. These modules are responsible for reading signals from sensors and switches in the real world. Inputs can be digital, on, off, or analog, continuous range of values. Input modules convert these signals into a format that the PLC CPU can process. Output modules. These modules are responsible for sending signals to actuators, relays, or other devices in the real world. Just like inputs, outputs can be digital or analog. Output modules take output commands from the CPU and convert them into signals that can control physical processes. Power Supply The power supply unit provides the necessary electrical power to all components of the PLC system. It ensures proper operation and stability of the PLC. Communication Interfaces PLCs often need to communicate with other devices or systems, such as human machine interfaces, HMIs, other PLCs, or supervisory control and data acquisition, SCADA, systems. Communication interfaces can include Ethernet ports, serial ports, and field bus connections. Special Function Modules Depending on the application, PLCs might include specialized modules for specific tasks, such as high-speed counting, motion control, temperature measurement, or communication with specific industrial protocols. Rack or Chassis The rack or chassis is a physical structure that holds the various modules. It provides a modular approach, allowing users to add or remove modules as needed without significant rewiring. Programming Port This is a port that allows engineers to connect to the PLC for programming and troubleshooting purposes. The programming can be done using specialized software and programming languages like ladder logic, function block diagrams, or structured text. Battery Backup Many PLCs have an internal battery backup system to retain the program and real-time clock settings in case of power failure. Status Indicators LEDs or displays on the PLC's front panel provide information about the status of inputs, outputs, communication, and overall system health. Overall, PLC hardware components work together to execute the logic programmed by engineers, enabling the automation and control of various industrial processes. The modular nature of PLC systems allows for flexibility and customization to suit specific application requirements. Thanks for watching.